What will happen in 10 quintillion years? Hello guys, what's the future of the human race and our beloved planet Earth? After some research, we found the predictions of the events for the next 1,000, 1 million and up to 10 quintillion years into the future. Let's go through this journey together. 1,000 years from now, due to rapid evolution of languages, no single present-day word will have survived. Gamma Cephe replaces Polaris, so we will have a new North Star. 2,000 years from now, ice sheets will have completely melted with extreme global warming of plus 8 degrees centigrade. Greenland's ice will be melted. Sea levels will be 6 meters higher. Did you know that 5125 is the year of the end of the Mayan calendar and, according to the Mayans, a doomsday again? If we survive 5125, then in 20,000 years, Chernobyl will be finally safe. 50,000 years from now, Niagara Falls disappears. The remaining 32 kilometers to Lake Erie erodes away and the waterfall ceases to exist. Greenland ice melted, completely melted with moderate global warming of plus two degrees centigrade. 100,000 years from now, the titanium in your MacBook starts to corrode. Either a supervolcano or a large climate-altering asteroid will likely have affected the Earth. The stars in the heavens will look completely different due to Earth's movement through the galaxy. In 500,000 years, the spent fuel in today's reactors will finally be safe and there will be a new global freeze. In one million years from now, all glass created to date will have finally degraded. Massive stone structures like the pyramids at Giza or sculptures at Mount Rushmore may still exist. Everything else, gone. Some have proposed that in five million years, the Y chromosome could die out, making men impossible. 50 million years from now, Africa will have collided with Eurasia, sealing off the Mediterranean basin and creating a mountain range similar to the Himalayas. Antarctica ice migrates north and melts, raising sea levels by 75 meters. Don't worry, the entire galaxy could be colonized by that time. In 60 million years, the Earth's orbit will become unpredictable. In 250 million years, the continents will start moving and create a new supercontinent. 800 million years from now, C4 photosynthesis is no longer possible, and as a result, multicellular life dies. Two billion years from now, the Earth's core freezes and the planet stops rotating. No rotation, no magnetic fields, no protection from the sun. The surface temperature hits 147 degrees Celsius. All life dies. In seven billion years, the sun will hit its maximum radius, 256 times its current size. Mercury, Venus, and maybe Earth will be destroyed. And then the sun becomes a carbon-oxygen white dwarf with about 50% its present mass. 20 billion years from now, one potential end of the universe. All matter is torn apart by the expansion of the universe. All distances become infinite. 100 trillion years from now, all the stars will have died. The only objects left are remnants, white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. In 100 quintillion years, if not consumed by a swollen sun, the Earth's orbit will have finally decayed and it will plunge back into the sun. The end. 